the top 10 best natural physiques of all time. Did I miss anyone? Please comment below. Who would you have added? Coach Greg, and boy am I excited as this is quite the list. It's the top 10 best natural physiques of all time. And remember, these are the physiques that I believe are actually natural. There were a lot of votes, a lot of people saying various names, but I simply never believed they were natural. And before getting to this list, let me premise that there are a lot of bodybuilders that could actually have made the list, but they're simply not voted for. No one thought of them. And also, almost any IFBB pro, had they have been natural their entire life, they still probably would have had a physique that could have been on par with the guys in this list. And so before we get into the top 10, some honorable mentions. Logan Franklin at the age of 23, guy said he was natural. Certainly that's an incredible physique. Bruce Lee, the actor with the most votes, he was voted as one of the best physiques of all time. Also honorable mentions to Jeff Side and David Laid, who I personally don't think they were natural. And so I I'd never put him on this list. Although I do believe that David Lade, he's currently natural. I don't think he was natural at the time. Just not enough muscle to make it into this list. And even Coach Greg, when I did my first 42 shows, that's right, I was in fact natural. People said, Coach Greg, you actually have one of the best natural physiques of all time. And so thank you for the compliments, but I simply never made the list for the top 10. And sorry to say, Michael Hearn, I unfortunately never put him in the top 10 only because I don't believe the guy's actually natural. If he was actually natural, he most certainly would make the top 10. But because I don't personally believe that he's natural, I just couldn't give him the benefit of the doubt. And in 10th place, best natural physiques of all time, this guy in the sporting world, Mike Tyson. Many of you are thinking he's not natural, but I do think that Mike Tyson back in the day, that the guy was actually natural. And to be able to hit with that much power, to box at that extent, and to dominate boxing, an incredible physique. And so he made the list top 10. And in ninth place, Ozuma Bailor did a natty or not him several years ago. Guy's been called a fake natty for years, but I do in fact believe the guy was 100% natural. Got his IFB pro card, and of all the gym shark athletes, I do believe he has the best physique of anyone that's actually natural. And in eighth place, powerlifting phenom, Russell Orhe. This guy, absolutely incredible, dominates the powerlifting word. Not only looks strong, but he is strong. The guy's looking to compete in bodybuilding, but even without that, the guy has a shredded six pack, looks amazing, tons of muscle, strong. And so he embodies what a natural physique can look like. Guy's been drug tested so many times, both in meat and out of meat. And I do believe that the guy is actually natural. And in seventh place, the 2021 WNBF World Pro Bodybuilding Champion, Bade Lekin. Guy looks incredible. He's competing in a drug-tested organization. He hasn't failed the test. Looks incredible. And so you got to give props to the guy. The guy looks absolutely outstanding. And with the right work ethic, the genetics, this is a physique that some people, not many in the world, can naturally achieve. And in sixth place, when he was an amateur, Quentin Araya made a video, said, world's best genetics. This guy turned IB Pro as a natural. And almost no one believed it to be possible. But yet he turned pro and said, hey, I'm no longer natural. Put on over 50 pounds of muscle. And so I truly believe that this guy was 100% natural when he was an amateur. And he only later decided to take PDs when he turned pro. And so the purpose of this video is to show you the top physiques that are natural. At one point he was natural and it is an absolutely astounding physique. And number five, may he rest in peace, Greg Plitt, one of the most famous and popular fitness models of all time. But I do need to add in an asterisk as I don't believe this guy is a lifetime natural. I believe that earlier in his career, the guy was taking PDs. In a video, he said when he first made his first magazine cover, he was 220 pounds, but then decided to downsize in order to appeal to the mainstream market. He wanted to look like the average guy that had a great physique that people could aspire to. And so he got smaller. And so I personally believe that he took PDs to get to that point, 220 pounds. But then later he said, nah, I don't need that. He had an incredible aesthetic and lean physique that almost every man dreamed they could one day possess. Number four, the father of modern bodybuilding, the first famous bodybuilder of all time, born in 1867. Have you guessed it? 
Eugene Sando. And so in case you ever watched a Mr. Olympia competition, the winner, they get the Sando, the trophy. That's inspired from Eugene Sando, the first famous bodybuilder, the father of modern bodybuilding. And consider this is from over 100 years ago, before they knew how muscle was built. They never knew about time under tension, progressive overload, protein, and so on. But yet he was able to build this muscle long before the invention of steroids. Heck, they never even had creatine back then. Or beta aline. They did it without this. Natural supplements you can get at my website. Things like Tom Cattley, Ali's favorite. And ashwagandha, they never had this back then. And so all they could do was lift weights, put them down, and hope for the best. And so imagine if he had been born today with all we have to offer. Guy probably be an IFBB pro. And number three, Guy had an incredible physique, 1940s and 50s. And what was his name? None other than one of the most famous bodybuilders of all time, Steve Reeves. This guy looked absolutely incredible. The wide shoulders, the small waist, the movie star, good looks. However, I'm not 100% convinced that this guy did not get into PDs at some point later in his career in the 1950s. And so it's debatable whether or not he's 100% natural. Some people are going to say, yeah, 100% natural is the 50s. Steroids were invented then. But I felt it would be unfair to not have him in this list considering he might be natural. We don't know. Guy looked incredible. It's possible he was natural. And so Steve Reeves, number three. And number two on the list, the guy wasn't natural later in life. But as a teenager, I can't think of a single physique that was more impressive than this guy. Shorter than Coach Greg, perhaps five feet four, five feet five inches tall. Guy was a manlet. But if you see his physique at 13, 14, 15, 16, it makes no sense. And this guy has Lee in his name, but it's not Bruce Lee. Lee Priest. I mean, look at this guy. Look at his development when he was only 13 years of age. It makes no sense. And he states, I started taking PDs at the age of 19. And so he's saying he was natural from 13 to 18. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. But I don't believe that the guy was enhanced at 12 and 13 years of age. And so if you just look at his physique at 13, 14, guy was already competing on stage shredded 13, 14, 15 years of age. Winning everything. Looking phenomenal. And so if you ask me who has one of the most impressive physiques of all time, I'm saying Lee Priest as a teenager, I don't believe it. It's mind-blowing. How could he look like that? And consider this. Once he took PDs, look how good he got. Mr. Olympia competitor. Guy is short, giant killer. He didn't have the height, but what he lacked in height, he made up for it in sheer size, definition, and amazing symmetry. Lee Priest, one of the most impressive and quality physiques of all time. And number one on the list, again, a guy who chose later in life to take PDs, not at first, decided to get to his natural genetic limit first, Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman turned IFBB Pro as a natural. And look at this guy's physique. As a natural, he already looks better than 99% of pros. As a natural. And so he turned pro, competed, wasn't doing very well, was getting close to last place and said, why am I getting last place? Well, what is the secret? And so other people were using performance enhancing drugs. And so he chose to go that route and said, well, if I want to win, I have to do what they're doing. He chose to take PDs. He made that decision. And what happened? Guy won the Mr. Olympia. He did so while being a police officer and he pushed his body to his limits. He became an eight-time Mr. Olympia champion, had one of the most incredible physiques in the world, natural, and enhanced also likely the most incredible physique ever of all time as an enhanced lifter. And so whether he was natural or enhanced, he had one of the most amazing physiques of all time in both. He pushed himself so far, he injured his body, and to this day, He's suffering the consequences, but he has no regrets. His only regret, perhaps, if there was a regret. And what was that regret you said? As soon as I wrecked it, I'm like, oh man, I could have got five. He would have done one more reps on that 800 pound squad. And there's my top 10 list, the top 10 best natural physiques of all time. Did I miss anyone? Please comment below. Who would you have added? And remember, I did my best to get the best natural athletes of all time from around the world. I asked multiple times, in fact, three times for people to submit their votes. There were thousands of votes, and this was the best list I could come up with. And remember, guys, these are the best natural physiques. But if you decide to go enhanced, 
please consider using liver support. And if you are taking PDs, please get your blood work done. Please consult with your doctor. Don't do anything illegal. Never break the law. And if you're taking anything, even drinking alcohol, consider giving liver support a try. Subscribe, click that bell button, and comment below. Like the video if you liked it. Watch one of the bloops. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IB Pro. And until next time, buy my freaking cookbook. I'm out.